Hey beautiful people, welcome to my channel in the Notaro 1122. Alright Cancer, let's see what we got going on for you. Alright, this will not resonate with everyone. Take what fits and leave the rest. You think you slick. Okay, I'm sorry, my dogs wait until I start recording. And once I start recording, they start doing things that they know they're not supposed to do. So anywho, there's that. No children. Alright, give me messages for cancer, please, and thank you. What does cancer need to know? What are they dealing with? What is the vibe for the tribe? Alright, there's something that source is actually maneuvering in your life. You got spiritual strength that wanted to come out here. So whatever it is that you're doing, you're going through the decisions that you're making here. Source is telling you to stand your ground, but choose wisely. You have the support that you need, okay? So Source may be turning this wheel of fortune in your favor. You got some positive movement forward coming up for you. You might be in an uncomfortable position right now. All right, so let's see. Firm foundation. This is something that you're working towards here. All right, that could be your home, your family, your finances, hell, your mental and emotional stability, whatever it is. Um, that is a solid foundation for you, all right? It looks like uh, here you may have faced some challenges. Every once in a while, it kind of looks like you may kind of look back and reflect on what you've gone through, which is kind of cool because it kind of keeps you humble as well, or it should, okay? There's that, and it also reminds you of how strong you are, all right? And how steadfast in your faith you should be. All right, so there's that. Whatever happened in this transition, this, this change, that's happening for you. It brought you a lot of wisdom, a lot of clarity that you're able to share with others as well, okay? Give me messages for cancer, please, and thank you. All right. Yeah, remaining hopeful, prayerful. Like I said, standing your ground in the face of adversity, okay? Knowing things don't always um, end the way that they begin, all right? Got a brand new beginning here. Possibly something very creative. Um, something that really ignites your passion, okay? Ignites your flame. Something that you're really interested in here as well. For some of you, this could be the Ace of Wands. You got a new boo, new love thing happening or coming in your life here, okay? For some of you, this could be some type of creative project that may end up bringing you some type of financial gain here, okay? Could be something you're investing in, okay? So nurture it, take care of it. All right, and there is some heartache and loss, which is kind of crazy because, <clears throat> um, excuse me, Cancer, this is the second time that I'm doing your reading, and this was the first card that came out in the past reading here, okay? And also Memories of Love came out. So there might have been a situation that uh, took place in a relationship with someone that you have major history with, and it looks like this was a great loss. However, it does look like you are putting that baby to rest and moving on with your life. Um, and what did I say? You're moving on. Looks like that connection had a lot of disruptions in it. But for whatever reason, I think this person may have come into your life um, possibly to help you grow, help you um, expand, uh, gain that wisdom and clarity that you need, and also strengthen the bonds with Source here, okay? Because you might have prayed about a situation that has the Source to fix it or work it out or whatever. All right, but whatever it is, it looks like there is some lessons learned or some triggers here, possibly for you and your other person, okay? So you got a choice to make. Either continue to deal with the situation, go back and forth, or move on from the situation, learn and grow. Give me one more for cancer. Yeah, it looks like you're finding your balance here. You're going to get through this situation, okay, with flying colors. All right, and also taking those red flags, the lessons that you learned from that past connection, taking it with you so that we don't repeat those cycles, okay? You have material and spiritual prosperity. Like I said, it looks like you're standing your ground, connecting more with source, allowing yourself to be led, okay? Instead of taking the, taking the wheel, you're letting Jesus take the wheel, okay, for you, okay? And maneuver you through this thing called life, all right? So it does look like you've gone through some heartache here, but it looks like you're on the upswing of things, okay? The tail end of that. Anything else for cancer, please? And thank you, surprise visitor, divine support. Please know the source is working all in your life, okay? All right, so 
you may have some surprises coming for you. It could be a surprise uh, visitor here. Um, maybe a different outcome than you were expecting or whatever. I don't know. But let's see. There is actually an ending to a situation. Um, like I said, that relationship, you could be embarking on a new journey in your life with that passion ignited. Could be a new person that is coming in your life that sparks that flame, like I said. But know the source is actually helping you out with this divine support. And also with journey with the number 10 on the bottom of the deck. It looks like you come to the end of the road of something. Alright, but where one pavement ends, another road begins. Alright, so we got sweetheart here. Um, it does look like someone that you were really, really kind of heavily attracted to. This might have been the wrong person, okay? I don't know, but let's get more information here, okay? I'm going to clarify one by one. Surprise visitor. An official person. So this is someone important. Uh, this could actually be... This could actually be the person that you were leaving behind. I don't know. Or this could have something to do with work. Give me one more for a official person. This is someone of importance. Okay. This is unexpected. A wealthy man. Okay, so unexpected toil and labor. Alright, so check this out. Cancer, this person might not pop up. However, you might get an unexpected phone call, email, text message, whatever. Hey, how you doing? For some of you, this could be a past supervisor, employment, um, or someone here that's got a little bit of money. They might have a business opportunity for you, okay? We have, uh, when official person came out, it came out with um, occupation, and now we have wealthy men with toil and labor. So, there may be a situation arising for you, a great opportunity that passion ignited, okay? Remember that, all right? That brings you some type of prosperity, all right? This could be you investing with someone, for instance, okay? You, you got your own little get down. You got your own little thing that you do on the side. You're an expert at it. You got somebody here that may be uh, starting a business or something like that. They're like, you know what? Hey, cancer knows how to do this. I know the, uh, the perfect person for this. This person may put you on a situation that helps you grow too financially, okay? We did see that you're going to be sowing new seeds and you're going to be um, very prosperous, okay? So... Allow this to grow and just keep an open mind, okay? There's that. Keep your phone, line, uh, phone lines open, too. All right, so on the back of the deck here, you have great fortune clarifying this as well. All right, so there's some type of unplanned event, a shocking event that's coming for you. And I like this for you, okay? And it's not going to be the outcome that you expected, all right? And it's kind of funny that once you leave what's not for you behind, how source will open up a whole bunch of avenues. All right, pick a, pick a row. Which one, which one you want to go? I'm with you. Let's roll. All right, there's that. All right, so clarify divine support, please, and thank you for cancer. <clears throat> All right, you got a blessing here, sweetheart. Look at that. All right, for some of you, the blessing could be a pregnancy, a child. All right. Somebody here is getting a bundle of joy. Give me one more, please, and thank you, main, main female, with false person. Ooh, okay, so look, uh, there's someone here that is a false person that maybe you have children with. Maybe that is it, but whatever it is, it was a blessing in disguise that got you out of this situation, okay? So it looks like you started putting you first. Ooh, yeah, this is somebody that... You had, okay, so basically what I'm looking at here, Cancer, is that you had some type of blessing coming up in your life, right? A big opportunity that Source wanted to, to hand you, okay, with a big old bow. Somehow or another, there's an entity, and I'm going to call it like that, a succubus, incubus, a false person, somebody with all this crimson here that you were possibly very attracted to, okay? Somehow or another, this person right here took you off track to where, where you were supposed to be, what you were supposed to be doing. It looks like you might have been aligned up with a serious blessing, okay? And somehow or another, temptation stepped in and sidetracked you, 
okay and crumbled everything that you were building here so now someone here has to rebuild okay be mindful of this energy all right because it will show back up and it will show up in another person as well okay so lean not to temptation i'm just saying okay all right clarify sweetheart and sometimes that's what happened especially if you have um we all have assignments but sometimes, you know, you, you got some divine assignments to step up in there. You know, you're hanging out there with the big boys. Your assignment is kind of heavy here, sweetheart. And you're going to make a major drastic impact on the community, on, you know, whoever it is that you reach here, sweetheart. Okay, they have a job to do and this is pretty big. So whoever this is that's coming towards you in the spiritual realm looks like they were a pretty heavy hitter okay and they had to hit you hard and they hit you exactly with what what you desire what you want all right so this person may have come in a package that looked very good to you sound good look good but then once you got attached to it you found out it was not what you were supposed to be with and it's kind of like um getting stuck on fly paper it's kind of hard to release. It was easy to get into it, but it's kind of hard to let it go. Physically, mentally, energetically, and also emotionally, okay? So there's that. Just keep in mind that sometimes some people come into your life um, not for the best reason. So if you see somebody is starting to have some foul energy, they're, you know, not on the up and up, you know, they're kind of shady or whatever, you might want to leave that person alone because they're they're about to drag you down to the rabbit hole. All right, and you're going willingly, all right, because you like that thing. I'm just saying, so you got to be careful with that because um, you can sabotage your whole future, all right, your whole career, your mental status, your emotional status, all right. You can get closed off, not allowing anybody else to love on you because somebody hurt your heart. It can affect your money, you understand? If you have a family, it can affect your family, your finances, okay? So pay attention to what's going on in your life when you have certain people in your life. Look at it before they came in there and look at what's going on while they're there, okay? And look at that person's character, all right? There's that. Give me messages for sweetheart because sometimes you're dealing with people with foul characters here, sweetheart. Guess what? And you got that person in your life. You going Some of their karma is going to bleed over on you, all right? So be careful. All right, so it looks like here you have someone here. I don't know if this is you with the sweetheart here. It looks like somebody here is in despair. They're in some type of regret. Uh, it could be a person that you ended it with here. All right. Uh, I don't know. The number 50 could have significance to this. But this person may have watched you walk away. Ended it things. Ended it things. Oh my God. Ended things. And also elevated here as well. Okay. So you might have walked away from a situation, sweetheart. And your finances just said, boom. Went straight up. Everything started looking better. Might have took a minute for it to actually get that way. But after this ending... Uh, yeah, somebody here has watched you actually kind of prosper here, okay? Now, this actually could have been a marriage for someone. Or you could have been living with this person or whatever, like I said. You know, I'm going to put it to you like this. In the spiritual realm, once you lay with a person, she exchange that energy, you're actually, uh, that is actually your, your spouse here. All right? You have a covenant with that person. And someone here could possibly have children with this person. You could have lived with this person. But like I said, as it, be it as it may, it looks like once you let this go, things look better for you. Your opportunities open up. Clarify false person, distant horizon. This person is going to try to find their way back to you. Yeah, but I don't think you're going to go for it. I don't take these in reverse, but with that being in reverse courthouse and also false person, you know that this is not your person. All right, you know that you deserve better. Let's see. Uh, give me messages about this person. Dang, they didn't waste no time robbery. All right, so this is a thief of joy. This could be somebody that actually steals too. All right, somebody here might be going through some type of depression, <coughs> withdrawal. Hmm. Yeah, somebody's possibly going through some type of rejection here. All right. Depression over a rejection because they're a time waster here. 
There are time waster in this one. This is somebody that could actually be a thief. Alright, but it looks like to me the thief of joy, okay? And this was a great loss here, but someone had to do what's best for them. There's that. Jesus. Uh -huh. Let's see, anything else? Cancer, it looks like as far as your finances and stuff is concerned, that is actually going to be getting better for you. Alright, so let's see. Fake friends, someone is doing you wrong. I think it's this person here. Alright, you need to be careful with this person. This one could have lied, cheated, stole, all kind of things, okay? Could have hid money from you, all kind of stuff. Fake news, always making up something new. Don't allow their fake tears or smile to fool you, okay? So somebody's coming in here with some crocodile tears here, uh, trying to, you know, persuade you to allow them to come back into your life. Oh, I've changed and blah, blah, blah. Baby, no, let me tell you something. What's really going on is life is hitting that person in the behind with some steel toe boots and they don't like it. And you may have been this person's safe haven. Okay? That that net under the wire. <laughs> you know, that tightrope that they walk on all the time. Alright, this might be somebody that is really risky. Someone here that is possibly very, um, could be very immature and, and, and impulsive here. Okay? So, let's see. Any messages from this person? And then we're going to check your money, see what's going on. I'm focusing on my business and progress in life to put to, uh, to put any energy in this connection, okay? So somebody here is really focusing on their wants, their dreams, their desires, or whatever. And they think about this connection um, in order to, like as a come up, okay? What can I get out of this connection? What can I gain? And it says, I prefer to think of you in a negative way than to admit that you were right. You possibly try to school this person, uh, mentor this person, um, tell this person, hey, this isn't working. We need to fix this. And, you know, maybe this person, it kind of seems like you're dealing with somebody reckless to me. I don't know. All right. It says, I don't love you. I love the idea of you. Okay. So you may have, golly, cancer. I'm sorry that that came out like that, but... Then you may have someone that loves what you do for them. Uh, you may be somebody that is very beautiful, someone that's very handsome. You might, you know, have that body, that physique, whatever. You might have a bag or whatever. I don't know, but you got somebody that's very materialistic. They love the things about you, what you do, and how you look, and how you make them look. And it's not the person that they love. It's what you do. All right, so just be careful with that, all right? And uh, I would say close that door and do what's best for you. All right, let's see. Anything else for cancer, please, and thank you. Please and thank you. Let's see. Queen of Swords, your cut off is cold as hell. Yeah, you kind of, yeah, Cancer, you're showing up here. You're definitely moving forward here. It looks like this person does want to reach out and communicate here as well. Yeah, somebody is having sleep this night, worried, stressed. It looks like you have taken a step back from this situation, reflecting on it, seeing it for what it was here, sweetheart, okay? So, dealing with the truth here. Let's see. Give me messages for Cancer. Yeah, somebody doesn't want to close this cycle out and you dealing with somebody that is hella manipulative. Uh, all right, look at this. This person causes heartache and pain and they'll possibly do it again. All right, and it's only a matter of time before this person comes back. Especially because they see that you're doing good here with the Six of Wands. All right, so there's that. You know what? I'm tired of this person. I don't want to know anything else about this person. We already know about this person, okay? So let's see about new love for cancer. Give me new love for cancer. And then we'll check your finances. All right. It is safe for you to love and new love. Absolutely. I'm here at Paula Abdul. I'm looking for a new love, baby. A new love. Hey. All right. So let's see. Give me messages about the new person. Alright, why is this? 
Nine of Swords in reverse? What? Okay, you're not going to have to stress over this situation. Equal give and take. You got the Ace of Cups here, okay? Look at this, all right? And the Three of Wands. So you're willing to wait for what it is that you want and for what it is that you deserve. Not rushing in here. Taking the time to reflect and to heal here, okay? Yeah, because right about now, you may not see your way clear. You may be still a little bit in the fog as to, you know, what the hell happened with that past con uh, connection. You're not trying to actually um, deal with that again. So anything that, that doesn't seem like... Um, it's going to bring you peace and joy. Anything that kind of seems like it's kind of hazy, you're not so sure about it, you will walk away from it here, sweetheart, okay? You are not investing a lot of time, a lot of energy. You may have invested a lot of time and energy in this past person, that past connection, and the hell with that. Cancer's like, absolutely not. All right? Either you come in correct or either you don't come at all, all right? Um, cancer, I see that you got your guard up here. It looks like you, you know... Um, you made some mistakes here, but you learned from the past here as well. Uh, you may feel like, you know, it was some setbacks with this person that you were dealing with. And it kind of seems like the person that you were dealing with, they were in for a fun time and not for a long time, okay? So, like it says, they uh, are in love with the idea of you. You may have wanted a housewife and you ended up with a hoe. I'm sorry. All right? Or you may have wanted a husband and you ended up with a hoe. All right? There's that. So... And you can't turn one of them into a housewife or a husband. Honey, you, you can try all you want to, but it is what it is, okay? That's like dressing a, a wolf in sheep's clothes, and it, it's still a, a wolf, all right? So there's that. It looks like it is taking you some strength to actually, you know, hold your ground with this past person. Uh, I got to tell you something here, sweetheart. Uh, it kind of looks like... You're kind of emotionally closed off. Don't do that. Just be um, precautious about who you open up all the way to, okay? But it does look like you got some resilience here. You're moving forward. You're making wise decisions for yourself here. Discerning these spirits out here in these spiritual streets, okay? Before you get in um, in depth with them, okay? Um it looks like you learned a lot here. Very sympathetic towards this person. However, not to the point to where they're going to destroy your life. You're moving forward here towards your Four of Cups. Oh, my goodness. Why did I say that? I didn't mean your Four of Cups. I meant your Four of Wands. My gosh. All right. And you're being very quiet about it. Boy, you got somebody watching you. Let's see. All right. So, oh, Lord. Okay. So, there's some drama here over a new person and I think it's because your past person is lurking around like a shark okay they're circling yeah what did I say I, I, I see it here I didn't even see this yet but your person is circling mm -hmm. and eventually that past person is going to shoot you some messages here some emotional messages so just be careful okay like it says don't don't fall for that that person's BS because they're coming in with it. All right, give me more for you. See, you know what? This person is going to try to stop you from moving on to something new. But we already saw you got something coming in. But the devil is on your heels, baby. All right? The devil is on your heels. Look at it. And whatever this person does, they know you like it too. Hmm. I'm going to put it to you like that. Yes, we got manipulation here. This person is trying to figure out a way to manifest you back into their life. Somebody is not going to, they're going to try not to have you move forward to someone new, to your four of wands, okay? So somebody is going to try to disrupt this. They plan on causing some type of chaos, some drama, all right? So when you move on, just expect this person to, to pop up, okay? still giving very little and this situation is going to be stagnant all right it's not going to move forward you're going to have repeat cycles of start hot and heavy things good good yeah we're working it out once this person gets comfortable guess what the tower falls again go run and go get your ten of cups whatever that is for you and leave this person alone all right you got a chance for for new love here 
All right, go ahead and put this situation to an end. There's roadblocks. There's all kind of obstacles and things like this. And this person is sabotaging this connection. You put in a lot of work in this situation, sweetheart. And you're not getting the results that you want. So why continue to toil and labor over a situation that's not going to bear any fruit? Okay? There's that. So I'm asking about a new connection. But this past person keeps coming up here, sweetheart. So that lets me know that somebody is going to try or they're trying to interfere from you moving forward uh, towards anybody else. Now I'm going to put it to you like this. This person might, um, yeah, see, look at this. This is Six of Cups, this past person. I'm telling you, look, this person brings drama in your life. And you need to walk away from this, whoever this is, okay? They bring a lot of chaos. All right. Um, I forgot what the hell I was going to say because I just blew my wig back with that. But yeah, this person here causes a lot of chaos and they're going to try to stop you from moving on. That's what I was going to say. And if they can't get back into your, your good graces or back into your bed, honey, they're going to get in your head, okay? This person's going to cause all kind of chaos and drama between you and them and your other person, alright? Give me messages about cancer's money here, please, and thank you. All right, there's some type of elevation that's happening for you, some sudden change. All right, be mindful of your spending here as well. Someone here may be investing in a short-term loan. Loan, Don't get it if you don't need it, okay? There's that. All right, so whatever this is, it does look like uh, it's going to be a lot of fun for you. This is actually involving your work, and there's a lot of, of uh, transformation, a lot of evolution here, okay? Someone's income might not be steady, so it might kind of fluctuate here. Um, it might be real high this week, and next week it's kind of very low. So there might be some decisions that you need to make here as far as um, what type of work that you do. Maybe you can kind of tag team, multitask, and doing two things at once. Maybe you got your job going on. Maybe you want to do some, you know, have some passive income, side hustle, or whatever it is. All right. Some of you might actually look into seasonal work, or maybe you may be changing your jobs here. All right. And like I said, I did see that there is possibly someone from your past, a past employer, or something like that that may be reaching out. Okay. All right, so it looks like you got a lucky break here. All right, for those of you that gamble, and I am not telling you to go gamble because that is not my thing. I think it's absolutely ridiculous to go and put my money in a machine, and I may or may get something back. May or may not. But I see people go to the, the casino and win all the time, okay? So you might get a lucky break. All right, or either you might take a chance on something when it comes to your finances and it actually pays off for you, okay? Like collabing with this person or whatever, you know, taking this new opportunity. All right, so it does look like you got some wealth coming for you. Some of you could be owners or bosses here, taking charge of you, making progress in your business. It's slow but steady. All right, especially if you're in the first five years, just be patient because, yeah, that's kind of like the worst. That's kind of like the, the, period of where you see if you're going to sink or swim, all right? But it does look like you're going to make some power moves here, and you're actually going to overcome obstacles, all right? Anything else when it comes to finances here? Do what you love, absolutely. And we saw that before, that passion ignited, okay? Looks like you got some treasures, you got some wealth coming for you, okay? Some worry-free finances, all right? You, got, you will have enough to actually... Um, save here and it says excess all right planning hidden talent all right so sweetheart you may tap into some powers here that you didn't even know you had all right or you may partner with someone and you are a heavy asset to that company or to that business all right all right so allow your skills to shine all right there's that and bet on yourself here. Yes, there's a lot of growth here. A lot of growth. Now, negotiate your pay here as well. There also may be some unexpected expenses for you. So make sure that you're saving. Now, I got to tell you this. Now, if this is someone that is micromanaging you, make sure that you are on your ish, okay? There's that. But whatever it is, it's going to bring you a lot of growth, a lot of expansion, a lot of money, a lot of stability here. I really love this for you, okay? All right, and you, you, someone here will be able to negotiate their pay or their terms, their contract here as well. Look at that. There's a job offer. I told you, all right? Um... 
yeah I'm gonna put it to you like this you might be watched heavily um, in the first few months just to see how your performance is but I do think things will lax up for you okay someone here is gonna be able to pay their bills I'm just saying all right there may be some type of ex um, expense coming up for you here as well all right uh, you also might be tapping into something where you're using your creativity. You could paint, you could be a photographer, or anything like that. This could also be a side hustle for you as well. All right, and also be mindful of any deadlines that may be uh, approaching for you here as well, especially when it comes to paperwork or things like that. All right. All right, so it looks like you got a big payday coming in here. Somebody's probably about to hit the mall and all that other stuff. Just be mindful of your spending, okay, sweetheart? Um, if you got excess coming in and you don't really necessarily need that, put that up, all right? There's that. All right, and then also we have insurance here. Someone here may be working in the insurance industry, or maybe there you need to make sure that you have some type of insurance. All right, make sure that your policies are up to date. And also, when it comes to your finances, make sure that you have a backup plan. Save, save, save. Instead of shopping, put that extra income up for a rainy day, okay? Someone here may be going through a background check. Like I said, you know, you may be starting something new with a new company or whatever, and someone may be on your heels just watching everything that you do. Ooh, she dropped the eyelash. You know what I mean? But they want to see if you know your ish, okay? Get in there and shine and do what you need to do. All right. And also, when it comes to the shopping, some of you may be shopping for a new home, new car, something that has keys with it, okay? So this is what I got for you, Cancer. It looks really good. It looks like you're leaving an old situation, walking into something new, all right? New money, new money, new money, all right? And new love, a uh, brand new passionate beginning happening here for you. I really like it coming out of heartache um is not always easy especially when that person that hurt you keeps popping up and don't want to let you go however if you look at that person um uh, from the 5d instead of the 3d it might be a little bit easier so in other words that person may be fine and sexy on the outside and you know the aesthetics are very pleasing to the eye in the 3d but if you look at that person's spirit hmm, what do you see okay and be honest with yourself, all right? There's that. Some people that we like, you know, they look good on the outside. But when you really start looking at what's maneuvering that person, how that person, um, you know, treats others, their character. You understand what I'm saying? What they do when people aren't looking, that tells you exactly who that person is, okay? So you have to figure out if that's something that you want to deal with after all this is just a meat suit we're really dealing with what's in here okay so my love uh this is what i got for you you guys have a great rest of your week and i will holler at y'all next time and thank you so much for your patience okay all right take care ah.